Hey everybody. So you want to learn how to set up the Big Ignis Soul Kitchen Camp Table. Let me show you. I've been using this for over a year now. This is my second season with it and it's been used a lot. Again, I camp a lot. I run the runner up for multiple years in a row of the best campsite in Minnesota on Hip Camp. So you can imagine I like to try out the things. All right, so let's get rid of this thing, get that out of the way. So you're gonna have basically three basic components, the tabletop, the carry case, and then the skeleton. So let's start with the skeleton. So what's nice is that it's all shot corded just like their chair is, meaning you can only set it up one way. You can't really mess it up. It has to go in there a certain way. So let's do that. Let's work our way around here. These only go in this way. So I do, I have gotten a lot of use out of this table. I have had it at my cabin. I've had it camping. I've had it camping again and again. <laughs> and we have a campfires out around the house. I'll bust this thing out too because, well, who doesn't like a place to set their beer down? And also their snacks. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this thing thus far. Okay, so you can see it's set up, right? Now you see these little guys, they can spin around, but they only go one way. It has to be facing up to hold the last part of the skeleton. So we're gonna tip those up. Here's our last two pieces on the skeleton. It's gonna go like so. All right, pretty straightforward, right? Now, take your top. See this little pouch right here? And there's another one on this side. That is for this. It is a support bar. So you're going to take that Velcro off. That allows this to slide all the way through it like that. See how that slides through? That allows you to get it into this pocket here. You want to fully seat it, stretch it out, make it rigid because this is going to support the whole table. Then you're going to fold that in and Velcro, Velcro it shut. All right, so that's done. Now, all we got to do is just set it on the frame. I'll try to show this to you, but you can see on the top of these clips, there's this little cutout right here. That is for these. So I just start on one side, just kind of pop it in there, like so. There you go. Get you set up. So uh, that's how you set it up. Take a look at the other video I'm going to have, my review on my thoughts so far on it. Uh, but overall, pretty easy to set up. You can't mess it up. It only goes together one way, and they basically foolproof it, as you can tell. So there you go. Hope that helps you out. Take a look at our next video.